Alrighty, Lumberjacks, welcome back to another Logging from Scratch episode. Uh, last time we were playing, we had just parked this thing on the hill for a beautiful screenshot. And uh, now, we should probably bring it down to our little uh, our little log yard that we got going there. Unload it. And then, uh, yeah, I don't know. We're going to have to look for a new area to start logging. Because I am right out of wood on this side of things. Granted, I did not pick, like, a, a very woodsy area. It's, uh, just mostly town folky kind of stuff, but we are going to try and see what happens. So let's, um, hmm. Look at the wobble on that thing. I love how it actually trails behind with the trailer now. <clears throat> That's what I was desperately trying to achieve with some of my earlier forwarders in the last game, <coughs> excuse me, was uh, by putting that uh, detachable trailer. I was trying to make this kind of an effect, but now it's already built into the game, so we don't we don't even need to do it. It's pretty exciting. So we've got our own little log yard going down here, little bits at a time. So I'm just gonna keep stockpiling wood down here. That's my plan. Just gonna put some more. Make some new piles. Actually going to put a pile right over here. Actually, we're going to drive around and crush the land a little bit here. Maybe we can spell something cool. I like how it crushes the grass. <clears throat> I realize it only does that to the really uh, tall grass, though. Like this really tall, clean-looking grass. That's okay. We're making crop circles, man. Let's see what we can... Draw some designs here. There we go. That'll be a good screenshot. Making crop circles. Just kidding. We're not making crop circles. It's so crazy how far you can go back. Like that's interesting. That'd be cool for doing time lapse stuff if we do ever get graders and stuff again. <clears throat> a lot of people really like that one grader video. It was different, to say the least. All right, now I'm just having fun. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna unload right here. We'll have some roadside kind of logs. I'll pile right here, I think. All right. So this guy, oops. Oh my lord. I wonder if you can ship these. Actually, never thought of that. We're gonna offload this for the time being. <clears throat> and then when we go over to the other spot, um, we'll we'll load it back on and see if we can ship it. So if we can ship that. That'd be so cool. But in the meantime, maybe it's better to go from this view to unload. Maybe. That's a big maybe right there. Here, let's go like this. Actually, I'm going to put that like right over there somewhere. I know you guys can't see where I'm putting some of that stuff in my other monitor. Oh, man. This is how you're, re <clears throat> this is how you're realistically supposed to unload it. The big one over there, I think. Hey. There we go. The problem is always depth perception. In real life, it's so much easier to unload things. Yeah, and then my plan is to just kind of make all these little log piles all over the place. Then one day, when we have the uh, the right stuff to go, we can bring it in there and make some money. Basically, this is like just banking our uh, banking our wood here. Wait for the sawmill prices to go through the roof. The wood prices to increase, and then go in there and just make a killing. That's what some contractors do. In real life, that's what some contractors do, so why not? Why not be like them, right? Oh man, that's a mess of logs right there, huh? Bloop. At least the logs, <clears throat> they do react a lot more realistically now when you pile them together. 
The claw, not so great, but hey, you know what? It did a, like once in a while you get a good grab like that one, and you're like, yay, this thing's not so bad. And then you'll try to pick up like an individual log, and the claw like noodles and freaks out, and you're like, okay, maybe it's not so good. <laughs> All right, let's switch back to this view for a minute. Oh, I still have some in there. My bad. Couldn't see those. Because in real life, you could probably just. Oops. There we go. Whoop. Whatever. We're just going to have these little log piles all over the place. And this will be the FDR logging previously football field uh, mill. Now let's just scoop this guy right here. Scoop it up. And I'm just going to drive over because I don't need to put it in the actual thing. Now let's see if we can actually chip that. I don't know if we can or not. I don't know if it's going to let us, but we can try. Oh, it does! Look at that! How much is that thing worth? A stump. Our stump was worth $87 chipped. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? Okay, so now we've come to a bit of a crossroads where we need to decide what we want to do here. So let's look at our map. So we currently own... All of this and all this. So I'm going to sell this, actually, because I don't need this side. We've abused it. We've hit the park. We've taken out the grove of trees here. You know, there's not much left for us to do. Uh, this section, which is worth a lot of money, is actually... Oh, there's just not a lot of trees, though. I mean, we got this section here. I don't know how much that would make us. Let's, uh, let's sell this first. We don't need this land anymore. Goodbye, land. So now we have a total of $211,000. So that gives us the option we could buy probably this track. Oh, no, we're still a little short for that one. We could buy... Ooh, it's getting close. Uh, we could buy that little piece, but God, like which one has a good amount of trees? This one. That one's actually got a great amount of trees. Ooh, look at all those trees. Let's go check that out, actually. I'm gonna We're going to go for a run here. Since... Well, actually, we'll have to bring the forwarder anyway, so we might as well drive it over there. Since this is our transportation device for the time being. So we're going to go for a little journey here. Because I want to see if um, that property is actually worth buying. See, like that that property here has a lot of trees, but they're those horrible trees that suck. And I don't really want those because I don't think they would be very uh, useful to us. It would be a lot of work to harvest that. And it wouldn't be a very good return financially. So although there are a lot of trees, not a lot of money. So we're going to leave that. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go investigate this other chunk of timber. So we got this piece of land right here, which I don't think we can afford this one, actually. Oops, we just went right through the power line. You guys didn't see that. Okay, so how much is this piece that we're in right now? I think this is too expensive. Yeah. So we can, I think this one's going to be where the money's at. So we have that one and that one. This one's got a lot of trees on it with a silo or something here. And it's not that far to bring it back if you really look at it. So let's see here. I love running through bushes with these now. It's just like, doo doo. Oh, see, this grass doesn't plow down. Weird. Interesting. Alright, so we got a. How far do we have to go here? We got a ways, actually, don't we? Just up around the corner here. So up around that corner. Oh, where that big silo is, I see. Ooh, there's lots of trees there. I think we found a winner. And I guess it doesn't matter what, what, how we put our money in, because if we sell it, we just get our money back anyway. Which is crazy. Well, not really, I guess. I keep thinking it's like not realistic if we take all the timber off of it and then sell it back for the same price, but... Um, I guess one way you could look at it realistically would be um, I've now cleaned the land off. The land is now uh, logged and ready for a field, ready for housing, ready for market, you know. That'd be one way to look at it. There we go. Okay. Shut this bad boy off for a minute here. And into the new land. Um, okay, so let's, let's buy it. Screw it. I just want to make sure this is the right, okay, yeah, it is. So we'll be able to do some of the trees, but not all the trees. 
that's one thing I don't like. Um, that's one thing that, uh, like these, I bet I can't cut these because they're probably not on my land. Yeah. That's so dumb because it's all started the part of the same like block, right? Is this part of it? See, like I can cut that tree, but I can't cut this tree like that. Know, that's just so stupid. <laughs> so dumb. Uh, whatever. So that's what we've done on our maps. Like I'm, I'm not like I was really excited about this whole like block layout, like by putting you know blocks in areas and being able to purchase them. But the problem is, um, the areas aren't super accurate to the lines you draw. So, um, on my map, what I've done is I've just made the whole map purchasable as one one lot, which seems lazy. But I did try to go in and make like individual blocks and stuff. Problem is, you get to the end of a block. There's no way to really mark where the end of the block is. It just suddenly says, um, you know, you can't cut this tree anymore. And you're like, what? Why? It's so annoying. Actually, I should probably be following these inland. Yeah, see? I knew that was going to be the case. And that's where, it, yeah. So let's not follow them in that direction. we got to follow them all inwards here. So let's just knock all these trees down. Big half detra. Oh, these are the good ones. I like these trees because there's not very many limbs on them. Take a bit to saw down, but they're uh, definitely some feisty trees. Oops, that one's going to go a little far south here, and it? I think it'll fall kind of crisscross over those trees. Yeah, that's what I figured. Duke. That's all good, though. Mm -hmm. This tree doesn't want to be cut. Why can't I get to the stump? Maybe it's just placed really high or something. Interesting. I guess this one just gets a really high cut. Sometimes, that's why I put my trees, like, on my maps. I put them a little bit further into the ground so that the stump doesn't stick up. Like, I want to be able to cut this whole piece out of here if that's what I want to do. But if it's not placed properly, then the, uh, the stump lays kind of weirdly. Hey, you should be able to go all the way down, like, here. That's ideal. Oops. Oh, we didn't hit the highway, so that's good. <laughs> uh, right about there. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, she slipped on me there. Let's see if we can just maybe take a shrapnel piece off here. I just want to take a little teeny bit off the back here just to see if it'll fall. Uh, oh, oh, almost. There she goes. Ooh, book. Perfect. Alright, let's get some more here. This is good. Falling these ones kind of hard left just because I uh, don't really want them falling onto the highway and I don't want them. Oh, well, it's going on the highway anyway. Look out below. Some of them seem to just slip right off there. Eh? <laughs> Chainsawing like a boss. Bloop. <laughs> These ones are slippy. Eh? <clears throat> Very interesting. It's like your own personal notching system. I'm trying to make it just slip right out there. There she goes. Oh, well, so I thought. But if I do that, that'll really screw it up. Now it's not going to know what the hell to do. <laughs> Perfect. 
Not the most ideal style to cut, but it worked, so that's good. Let's do the same with this bad boy. Let's cut it straight right off the stump instead of doing it from the base and see how that goes. Play how you're supposed to notch it. Like how it lets you keep the notch this time. That's kind of neat. Bloop. Can I cut that tree? Can I cut these trees? Nope. So that's the end of my territory right there. Hey. All right. So let's uh, let's do some de lemon here then. I guess. We should just take this other crap and chip it, really. At least none of these are actual, like, full limbs. That's good. So we got a whole bunch of messy, ugly trees here, so that's good. Let's put that over there. Fugly. Fugly looking trees. I love how they have some crook to them, though. It makes things a little bit more fun for piling. Also processing, you can uh, decide if there's too much crook, you could uh, decide not to cut that one up. It'll be fun once we get our processors in here for doing ground processing. All in good time, ladies and gentlemen. All in good time. Oh, of course I don't. Let's cut this a little bit out here. Boop. There we go. And we'll grab this. And we'll go check it over here. This one. It's kind of going to be my top slash ugly piece pile. Let's grab this piece too because it's an ugly piece. I'm surprised I can even lift this. This is probably a rotten moldy old piece of wood, so... Okay, what else we got out here? Anything funky for little bits and pieces? Oh, yeah, I got all these guys down here. Man, can you imagine actually cutting those limbs off that fast? That'd be intense. Ugh, that's an ugly twisted end, isn't it? But hey, it still counts as a little piece, so... Well, actually, why are we bringing that up? We'll get that eventually. I'm not worried about that. Clean it up. There we go. That's what I want to happen. That's what I wanted it to do. And this one's just a nice, straight, clean piece. I'm surprised the chainsaws don't have fuel. That would be a thing. Alright. So right now we're just, like I said, cleaning them up. Then bucking them up will be a whole nother uh, a whole nother story. Cause it's gonna be a lot of a lot of chopping for sure. So let's get just this little tip off. Oh. I guess that's enough to keep it. There must be just enough weight there to that. I don't know why I'm keeping that piece. Can I pick that up? No. I'm not badass enough. I didn't do enough roids. Okay, where'd that little piece go that I had? Little bits. I'm not keeping those. Those are, those are trash. We had that one piece. Where did that go? I dropped it somewhere. Is that it? Nope. Little piece. Where'd you go? Come here, little piece. Oh, there it is. Eyes of an eel. Or something similar with lesser eyesight. Uh, okay, perfect. Okay, so I think I'm going to end it here just because we uh, have something to do for the next episode when we come back. Um, when we do come back, we'll be chopping up uh, all these into reasonable pieces so that the forwarder can actually carry them. 
and I'll figure out a system of measurement to get it pretty close other than just eyeballing it. So, yeah, if you guys uh, liked the video, leave a like, leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe, and if you're in the bush, don't forget to hug a tree. All right, guys, we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.